first thing that comes to my mind is how fishing brings you to other experience and to meet uh, good people all over the world. <laughs> and this is something that's extremely valuable. During this uh, shooting, we fish with, uh, with Gaetan, which is a, a super guy. We've been with him, with his family, and it's been uh, it's been amazing. The second thing that comes to my mind is that we've been very lucky to, to experience what we did. You fight with all your body, nothing can rest during such a fighting. My arm pit without hand, mama. You need to be physically in shape, mentally even better shape. Now I'm gonna lose the road, I flip! <laughs> Man. Yeah! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Top, merci! So we just uh, filled the Gaitan quota for the year with one fish. Thanks. <laughs> one job. fish, one quota. Good job. Merci. <laughs> Tons of tuna. For sure, it's something you, you can't see everywhere in the world. We witness an amount of fish that we never thought it was, uh, was possible to see. And when you see this with your eyes, it's, it's just an incredible, uh, an incredible show. It's a natural show. You can just sit and watch the tuna busting sardine. You can just sit and watch. Poisson was the last fish of this reel. Look at the reel. Take a close up. One more. One more. The, the bite in the air. The bite in the air? Yeah, it's, it's coming today. 100% has to. Today, is, today we get it. There's no discussion. No doubt. Nothing. We yeah. get it. <laughs> When you get such a big fish on the rod, 
and you have to pull it to the boat. It's just a, a totally different experience. It's something you cannot imagine, except if you fight such a fish. You need so much uh, concentration and so much consistency in what you're doing. So it's just not uh, taking the fish and bringing it to the boat. You have to be mentally prepared to be two hours, four hours, maybe seven hours, my longest uh, fight, seven hours, with that fish together. So it's actually an experience uh, for itself. Motherfucker! And I think they are tuna fishermen. They don't, they like this. And some other fishermen, they probably do not like this. Well, Sammy, you're happy. I'm happy! Mashallah! Alhamdulillah also! How do you feel, Jan? Uh, pretty well, so far. But uh, let's see how it feels after two hours. He's not going below the boat for so far, so it's perfect. As much as much rush as he does on the surface, the better it is, because it gets tired. And maybe we have it not too far under the boat at the end, because at the end it will be under the boat anyway. It's not like Jesus yesterday Christ. was just beast. Yeah, satanic. Too, yeah, it was too much yesterday. Today I like it. It's, uh, now it's going. <laughs> Wonderful! We made it! Yahoo! 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 What happened with Stella? Well, I think that it's a very old Stella. <laughs> that, that did work a lot in the past. Il a pêché à Socotra. Il a pêché à Socotra. The reel was uh, fishing in Socotra with Gaëtan and Nicolas, so that hurts. Ah ouais, donc t'as lancé un souffle.